guys and welcome to another Outriders video. Today, I'm going to be going over some of my favorite mods, good mob odd combinations, and mods that are just overall very strong. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to start with the tier 2 mods on guns. So if we go in, I haven't really noticed any mods from here that are very good. In this section but on the tier 2 mods we do have a few good ones so bone trap is one I currently run it it is great and especially for only a one second cooldown and it just helps with clearing mods mobs very quickly especially when they're all the little perf rows and they're all just ganging up on you you can clear them in like one maybe two two bursts pretty much with this we move over here, Gravedigger's Frenzy is another good one. Hitting a critical shot boosts your crit damage up to 50%, and I think that's amazing for single shot, uh, single target damage. Of course, there are other mods that people will prefer to put over Gravedigger's Frenzy, but I think that's very good. We move over to Brain Eater, which is an absolutely brilliant thing to run with... Uh, with Impala's Rage, we'll get onto that in a moment, but crit shots do not consume ammo can be very handy for a build based around hitting crit shots, I think. And of course, Perpetua Mobile, which is a very good uh, mod to have if you can't fit in any other mod that kind of helps with replenishing your mag and things like that. It has higher risk than the other ones, but it's pretty much a budget infinite mag if you want so I've put it on this list just because it is handy when you're starting out and there's nothing really else in the tier 2 gun mods that I could say are very handy if we move on to the tier 3s though I don't have that many unlocked but I know I've got some of my favorites unlocked for example Imbala's Rage is really good for five seconds after a killing shot all following shots will be critical shots this maximizes the damage that your build is actually able to do on single target damage because you're constantly benefiting from your critical hit multiplier, which I feel is extremely strong. The next one I'm going on to is Dark Sacrifice. During combat, your weapon drains up to 50% of your max health in exchange for 75% damage bonus. Now this is changed, and the way it works is as it is draining your health as long as you are 50 percent health and above you will get the 75 percent damage bonus which is why i like it because it is worded that way during combat your weapon drains up to 50 percent of your max health so it will be draining until you're 50 percent max health and in exchange for that drain you'll always be getting 75 percent damage bonus and the thing about this is I'm quite sure Dark Sacrifice's damage bonus is multiplicative compared to Killing Spree, which is why I really like this one. And I found my damage output is so much higher now with my uh, Technomancer, and a new build will be coming out shortly for that. Next we have Fortress, which is very good. Receive up to 43% damage bonus based on your armor. And the reason why that is really good is because it's a damage bonus to everything. If you're running an anomaly build, run this because then you'll be getting 43% more damage. And if you're level 50 at 50,000 armor, you're actually receiving the max damage bonus of 43% that you can. So it is extremely good. Moving on, we have Grand Opening right here next to Fortress. Landing a hit with the first bullet in a magazine creates a powerful explosion, dealing 258,000 damage in a 5 meter radius. Reason this is really good is because it's on a 1 second cooldown and you can still, if you lose your mag or if you're running a Devastator where you don't have a mag skill, you can still output some really strong damage. If you don't have Grand Opening though, a good substitution is Scrap Grenade, which comes on the Juggler and you can buy that from Tiago. And last here we have Moaning Winds. Moaning Winds is really good because 
if you're running Devastator or an Anomaly build where you're not using the skill mod, uh, the mag skills, then this is great because then you shoot, once you finish and there's too many enemies around, you re reload and then you can switch to the other weapon with Moaning Winds as well. And the 8 second cooldown on your first weapon that you use is still going to tick down until it's ready to use again, which is just, I, I feel that's really good in my opinion. Other tier 3 mods to know are Killing Spree, which I don't have unlocked on this character. It gives you an additive 75% weapon damage bonus for the current weapon you're using. So, although it isn't as good as Dark Sacrifice or Fortress, it is still... If you can't, if you don't have either of them, it's still really good. I would use Fortress over Killing Spree because you get about the same aim uh, damage. Because I'm quite sure Fortress is more or of a multiplicative damage type than Killing Spree. But those are the gun mods I would take a note on. Moving on to the lovely gear mods, we'll go over. The armor ones, we have Vampiric Mag, which is right here. Very good, especially if a build is made around bleeding or hitting critical shots. Killing shots on enemies afflicted with bleed replenish 50% of your mag, which I think is really strong if you're able to consistently make people bleed. Going on from that, Thirst for Blood is another good one. Because this is killing enemies with a weapon while they're afflicted with bleed increases your weapon leech by 40% for 10 seconds. That doesn't increase your weapon life leech by 40% uh, of what it is. It gives you 40% weapon life leech. Which I think is insane. Considering on Techno without weapon life leech as a stat on your weapon, you get 20%. Having 60% weapon life leech on a build that can hit anywhere between 500 to a million, 500,000 to a million, I think 60% of that damage is going, you know, you just won't die at that point. Then we go on to Vein Ripper, critical shots inflict bleed. So if you can confidently land critical shots, it is, I feel, very strong. Then, of course, we have Reforging Bullets, crit shots enemies afflicted with burn, don't consume your ammo, which is really handy for pyromancers if they're focusing on a crit build, I think. Then we go on to Crit Stack. Crit Stack is very good, again, if you're using a build that hits a lot of crits, because I worked it out. Let me find the numbers. At level 50, you can get a total of 38,000 extra firepower. Which I believe is quite strong. Then, roll this here. Bloody Boost, which is this down here. This increases the damage against enemies afflicted with bleed by 15%, which is insanely brilliant. I do also believe there is a tier 3 mod here, a version of this, which is 25%. And I believe that's also very strong. There's also Ashen Boost, which is very powerful for the Pyromancers. Boost your damage against enemies afflicted with Ash by 20%. Which I think is just, it's amazing. And it boosts your damage so high if you're constantly Ashing enemies. There's also a Freezing Boost. Boosts your damage against enemies afflicted with uh, Freeze by 15%. Which is very strong for the Technomancer, considering you can confidently apply Freeze very often based on your build. Then we have Bullet Kindling, which I believe is here. Deal 20% more damage against enemies afflicted with bleed, uh, with burn, which again for Pyromancer is very strong. Another mod that I just missed was Toxic Lead. This is killing shots on enemies afflicted with Toxic, replenishes 40% of your ammo in your magazine. Which is very strong for the Technomancer, especially because with Blighted Rounds, you just constantly apply Toxic. The next one is Mitigation from Death, which I feel is the only the only defensive mod you need on gear at the moment, until they rebalance the armor and everything. I've never found... I'm just running Mitigation from Death right now, and I'm doing really well, in all honesty... And I'm hitting for over 800,000 damage at the moment, depending on the situation. 
And this, of course, stacks up to three times. Earning you... I believe it was 139,000 armor at level 50. Yeah. 100, 136,000 armor. Then if we move on to Radical Therapy, which is here. Deal 15% more damage against enemies afflicted by Toxic, which is very strong. There is also a Tier 3 version of this mod that I don't have yet, but that is definitely a very good mod. Running them in combination is also very powerful. Then we have Personal Space, which is good for any class that wants to specialize in close quarters, which is mainly Devastator and the Trickster. Also handy to have on Technomancer if you want some more close range damage, or Pyromancer if you want to stack some more close range damage. And moving on to our last one, Bloodlust is a very strong one. Gives you incredible firepower, and the, the deterioration rate isn't actually that fast of 10 seconds, which I think is just amazing. Moving on to the Tier 3 mods, we start off with Captain Hunter here. Increases your damage against elites by 25%. I run this a lot because it is absolutely amazing to just kill elites faster because any extra damage against elites is brilliant. Then we also have Introvert, which is here. And that is a mod that gives you more uh, 2 meters extra to be considered close range. So it changes the close range damage modifier from 10 N meters and closer to 12 meters and closer which I feel is very good. We also have Sharp Eye. Killing enemies while aiming down sights grants you 16,000 firepower for 20 seconds and stacks up to three times, which is, again, very good. Other ones to note that I wouldn't necessarily use, but if you're struggling, you can. Ready for anything, 10% of crit damage dealt to elites is returned to you as health. Very handy if you're just trying to beam down elites and you just can't quite keep your health up. There is also... Death's Door doubles the armor whenever your health drops below 35%, which I wouldn't put on uh, Trickster, Techno, and Pyro, but I would put on Devastator, because Devastator takes a lot to get the max damage, uh, physical damage reduction. Uh, it takes a lot of armor. I know my friend is at 220,000 armor, and he is, I think, only 70% damage reduction, something like that. And then we also have this one, Kingslayer. Crit hits on elites increase your firepower by 32,000 for 6 seconds. Very good if you're just trying to uh, get some extra damage against elites or killing an elite to then switch to other enemies. Sets you off to a good pace. Of course, there's also Not Impressed. If elites are doing too much damage to you, then you can slap this on and 25% reduce damage from elites, which I think is absolutely brilliant. I'm not going to go over the tier 1 mods, purely because they uh, they don't really fit, because they're all specific to a, a class, so I'm not going to go over the tier 1 gear mods, because it would be going over for Techno. I can do that in another day, but, and of course there are other tier 3 mods that I won't go over, because they're class specific. But before I do go, I would like to note oh, some uh, good combinations from the mods I've mentioned. Imbala's Rage works well with Vein Ripper and Crit Stack. And then you can also put Grave Digger or Brain Eater in there, depending on whether you want more damage or less ammo consumption. Also, Vampiric Mag fits well into there with Thirst for Blood and Bloody Boost. And Personal Space and Introvert is also a very good combination because it boosts your close range damage as well as what is considered to be close range but if you guys enjoyed that remember to like comment and subscribe and of course if you have any other mods that you feel are very strong that i don't have unlocked yet so i haven't been able to look at them or test them please let me know down in the comments below